Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today we've got a video for you talking with you about Xerom. Xerom is the Ether1 sidechain. Um, I did first learn about uh, Xerom over at the Ether1 Discord. Um, there was an announcement explaining everything about it, showing you about Discord, all of those types of things. Um, there was also a um, statement staying um, that there's going to be a one to two snapshot so that'll be something that we'll talk with you about here so anyone that's holding ether one currently um, once that snapshot happens as long as your ether one is in certain types of wallets um, you're gonna you're gonna earn some Xerom so let's get into this video a little bit more here today we're gonna be talking with you about Xerom the ether one sidechain we are a cryptocurrency mining based channel focusing on pool testing, overclock setting testing, minor program testing, as well as we did build a remote garden location specifically meant to show you everything needed as far as electric updates needed and everything that you're going to need as far as heat removal as we scale up. Here's a picture of our remote garden location. It is always a work in progress. But once again today, we're here talking with you about Xerom. Xerom is the Ether1 sidechain. Xerom is our rapid development chain, while Ether1 is the mother chain that gets all the stable proven implements. How Xerom works with Ether1? Xerom provides a different monetary policy as well as different ledger for EthoF hashes to be stored on. This allows for a more decentralized EthoFS ecosystem as EthoFS is no longer reliant on the single chain. So, once again, today we're talking with you about Xerom. Um, one of the things I always like to tell everybody is do your own research, please. In the description down below, there's going to be some links. Hopefully, that'll help you do your own research. But over here at Xerom.org, um, as we scroll down, one of the first things it talks with you about is the node system. Um, that's the biggest part of the, the decentralized EthoFS um, is these nodes. That's what helps keep the network around. Um, it does show you here the different node types. Um, also explains to you how much those nodes are going to cost, as well as how uh, what the requirements are. Um, as we go down a little farther, you will see um, some information on the team working on um, Xerom. You also see the distribution policy, circulating supply, and monetary policy. So once again, I always like to tell you, do your own research, but if you head over to Xerom.com, it'll get you started. Um, you'll be able to find out some other information as well. Um, we did, once again, um, first see the announcement on Xerom over at the Ether1 Discord, um, but there is going to be a snapshot or an airdrop. Uh, airdrop might not be the right word, snapshot. So um, however many coins you have in your current bags, um, there's going to be a 1 to 2 ratio. So if you currently have 30,000 ETHO, you will receive 60,000 Xerom. That makes sense. Um, what is Xerom? Xerom is the Ether1 sidechain. Xerom is our rapid deployment chain, while Ether1 is the mother chain that gets all the stable proven improvements, right? Okay. So basically, you're going to have two chains. One chain you're going to be able to be working on, that's Xerom, um, changing things, seeing how that affects the network. Then you'll have your main chain, um, which is Ether1, and that's for that EthoFS decentralized node system. Um, another nice thing about it is if one chain goes down, um, the other chain is going to pick up slack, keep things going. So we do have true decentralization here. Um, over at Bitcoin Forum, you'll be able to see Xerom. Decentralized by nature talks with you a little bit more about it here. Once again, I always like to tell you do your own research. Um, but if you do want to make sure that your coins are included in the balance transfer, you need to have a couple things. Okay, your coins cannot be on an exchange. I repeat, your coins cannot be on an exchange. So if your coins are on an exchange when that snapshot happens, which that's going to be at a random time, um, you will not get paid. If your coins are in any type of a smart contract, so Fuse, um, the older wallet, um, the desktop wallet had those smart contracts. If it's in any type of a contract, you will not get paid. I repeat, if it's in Fuse or any other type of smart contract, you will not earn at the snapshot. I had one of the old, 
wallets that had the um, contract and I had set up a contract so I could follow that payments of those Ether one coming in from that nodes. And um, I went ahead and moved everything off of that wallet to just the main wallet just to be safe. Your Ether coins must be in an address where you control the private keys basically guys. So we'll talk about that a little bit more here. But today we're talking with you about um, Xerom and the Zero Master Node Network. Um, so there's a lot of good information that you can see over here at Bitcoin Talk as well. Um, another place where you can see some, some good information is going to be over at the Xerom Discord. There will be links in the description down below. Um, there's also some links, good links for you to be able to download the wallet, the Explorer. You can check on the nodes. Um, you can find Xerom.org there as well. You'll also be able to find Xerom over at Twitter. You could also, um, there's a link so you can get that um, online wallet. Also a link that you're going to be able to figure out how to get all those nodes set up, get those nodes running. But the biggest thing I want to talk about today, guys, is going to be that snapshot. The snapshot is happening on June 20th. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a two to one. So for every one ETHO you have, you will earn two Xerom as long as it is in your wallet. So quick update guys, there's been a lot of people that have had questions on this. So if you want to make sure that you're going to get that once we have that snapshot go down, you need to make sure, okay, to ensure you're, you're eligible for the balance transfer, please ensure your funds are in one of these types of wallet. The Ether1 Android mobile wallet, the Ether1 desktop wallet beta, a wallet generated by the Ether1 web wallet, Mu or MyCrypto, MetaMask or EthoMask, a hardware wallet such as Etho. Please note, if your funds are in an exchange, you will not receive any zero. If your funds are in any type of smart contract, Fuse, or a contract wallet generated by the old Ether1 desktop wallet, you will not receive any zero. If you have access to your Etho private key, have a UTC key store file, or are storing Etho in a hardware wallet, you will receive zero. Now, one thing I do want to talk with you about, okay, this is very important. Hardware wallets are supported. However, funds will not be accessible immediately. I repeat, hardware wallets are supported. However, funds will not be accessible immediately. It could take several months before they're accessible as it is required for there to be support for the hardware wallet. So one more time, the hardware wallets will be supported. However, it is going to take time for you to be able to access those Xerom. So once again, if you want your Xerom instantly at the time that that snapshot happens, you need to have it in the Ether1 Android mobile wallet, the Ether1 desktop wallet, the beta version, a wallet generated by the Ether1 web wallet, Mu or my crypto needs to be in MetaMask or EthoMask or a hardware wallet such as Ledger. If all that goes down, you have your wallets in there. Um, those Etho, you will get two to one Xerom versus uh, to that Ether one there. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, please don't hesitate to give hit that uh, like button down there at the bottom. But today we've been talking with you about Xerom which is the Ether1 sidechain. We filled you in a little bit about that um, snapshot that's going to happen um, where you'll be able to earn two Xerom for every one Ether1 as long as it's in the proper wallet. But if you like this kind of stuff, please don't hesitate. Give us that um, thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription. We really cherish that. You can also follow us over on Twitter. Keep up with our latest and greatest. Um, you can find us over on bit.tube as well. Bit.tube is a place where um, content creators as well as content watchers will earn tube. Um, so that's something that I like. If you want to speak to us directly, you can also hit us up over in that description down below. There's going to be a link to Discord over at the technicals. You scroll down, you'll find Not Your Normal Miner. That's where you'll find us. But once again today, we've been talking with you about Xerom, Ether1 sidechain. Thank you.